Well, we have the most perfect day for you. A warm hello in every sense of the world. The sun is out and football has a special place on this most idyllic of days. A fixture ahead of us to which we've all been looking forward for so very, very long. And it means so very, very much. The scene could not be more beautiful. The pitch looks terrific. The players are ready to get started. And we cannot wait for the contest that lies ahead. This is, of course, the Camp Nou, one of the best known, perhaps the best known of all the venues in European football. And we rise now for the English national anthem. game this between two very high quality sides a treat for everybody here well under normal circumstances this is a massive matchup and i'm not totally in agreement with the view that friendlies tend to take the edge away in my experience if the opposition go at it full tilt then you have to reciprocate we'd like to see excitement and be entertained but if it does go down the serious route there'll still be lots to enjoy So off we go then. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? Yeah, Harry Kane. He's a deadly finisher, Peter, obviously, but he can contribute much more than that for his team. He's got the physical presence to hold the ball up and the awareness to bring pretty much everyone else into play. His best attributes, however, might be his, his enthusiasm, his energy and his desire to win because those things become infectious to others. Yeah, hard to see past him. He'll be looking to put on a show, I'm certain of that. Pickford sends that a long way. Fabian Ruiz. And it's Pablo Sarabia, Morata, Maguire, Chilwell, Rice, Rice plays it forward. Pablo Sarabia, Morata, a good ball to find him. Who's ball? Who's going to get there? He's gone for it! Oh, fine stop from the keeper. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Chilwell gets into a dangerous position. And that's been won straight back. Hoists it forward. And it's Isco. Oh, the less said about that pass, the better. That'll be a throw in. Pablo Sarabia. Oh, that is asked. Has a goal! Goal! Spain! Oh, he was never going to miss from there. So much to aim at. Well, it's pretty damning on the part of that defence, Peter, that he was allowed so much time and space. But I think you have to give credit where it's due. And it was a brilliant setup and finish.
A 1-0 lead established. Still a fragile lead, though. They can't afford to sit on this. England to retain the ball, but oh, seemingly in no rush to break forward. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. And it's Isco. Gomez goes looking. Jordan Henderson. And helps available out wide. Albiol gets it back. Saul. Pablo Sarabia. And here's Morata. Morata! Oh, that's a fine save! Morata sparked a tremendous stop there, and I think it's fair to add, he just wasn't expecting it. And it's Chilwell. England have it back and they can go again. It's a very good battle there, terrific to watch. Now it's Isco. Gomez. Pickford gets it upfield. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Gomez with the crossfield ball. Barkley. And here's Sterling. Now it's Kane. Now it's Morata. Morata. Chilwell. It's a loose ball. And it's Morata. Fabian Ruiz gets it back. Pablo Sarabi. Pablo! They finish! Two up and threatening to pull clear. Perfect placement. The one place the keeper couldn't reach. Well, I think two keepers would have had a hard time keeping that one out. Never mind one. It was real venom in the strike and, and clear composure from the placement. Spain get themselves a two-goal cushion. That second goal is such a, a polarizing effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. Maguire. Chilwell. Just brushed off the ball there. And the half-time whistle goes. See reviews on the first half. Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why do they from here when they can repeat their first half success with a, another show of strength? Spain in control at half time, 2 0. Here we go again then. Gomez. Jordan Henderson. Tries to switch the play. Chilwell. Saul demonstrating fabulous determination. He just will not be beaten. There's a long ball. Barkley. Rice. Sterling. Rice with a delicate ball. Ball's gone out of play. Pablo Sarabia, and it's played forward. And the counter is on. He's through, and oh, it's Morata! And more, and more, and more! And surely that settles it. Oh, 
it's lovely to see the art of the skies alive and well, but the keeper straight into no man's land. His second of the game, and an eye now for the hat trick. Spain take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. Looking cross-field, changing the point of attack. And here's Sterling. Well, I don't think it was the wisest option, Peter, once he got into that position. It's not as if he didn't have people nearby. Somewhat looks like he's in need of protection here. Well, there's certainly a, a coordinated attempt to shut him down, which is, I suppose, a natural response. Well, Red, he sorted that out. Out to the left it goes. Fabian Ruiz. Now it's Morata. Just to keep it, Morata! Chilwell, and it's Pablo Sarabia, now it's Morata, it's Morata, really well taken goal, it is no contest, it is a landslide, really outwitted one-on-one, -on -one. once more he gets the better of the keeper. Well, was there ever any doubt? It made it look like he's done it over and over and over again, and he has. He snaffles his third, and that earns him the match ball. Well, he's been the outstanding player on the pitch, and devastating in front of the goal. What a display, what a player. Spain totally rampant here. Saul was not to be moved. Oh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Yeah, I mean, he, I think he did well to, to spot the run. He just didn't get enough behind it. It happens. Sancho, oh, the ball's come loose and the chase is on, deftly done, has a shot, and that's why. Chilwell does well there, alert. Spain really have been alive to interceptions and picking off any loose balls. They're actually not getting too tight, which is interesting. No, it's probably cautionary. Uh, don't dive in, try to pinch it or, or intercept so nobody can get in behind. Barkley. Sterling. Chilwell. Oh, that's a foul. Free kick's been given. <laughs> and the defence can get it clear. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Saul goes up and over. 
battles to win it back. They get a throw in. A couple of changes then in quick succession. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Done very well to intervene. And it's Gaia. And they've been caught out here. Morata! It's anyone's ball. And he heaves it forward. Lofted into the middle. Whipped it again. He's had a go! Away from immediate danger. Henderson. It's got through to him. Maguire. Gomez. Rice. And it's Rose. And that is it. The referee has seen it up. A great day for attacking football. The artists have painted their pretty pictures. Only one team in it. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? Spain won thanks to a, a disciplined game plan. Homework provided the groundwork.